welcome back. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so let's just get into the gameplay. Alright. Tell me about what you do here. If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. Build something for us when you can, and then we'll get working. I must take my leave. So long. So long. Ah! I will see you later, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. So how do I build? I forgot how to do that. <laughs> how do I build, man? Looks like it. How do I build? So they would have no oh. Where's the um, other one? Can you remind me what you do here? If you want to deal with your raiders, you come through me. I'll make sure they're ready for you and keep them in fighting shape. You need to build some barracks. Otherwise, these raiders are going to get soft, and we can't have that. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Farewell. How am I supposed to upgrade the barracks? Am I supposed to do that first? make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. Okay. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. What are you gonna show me, boy? Hopefully nothing explicit. Hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. 
Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basil. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Yo, my shield, my shield. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. But still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. And I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet I'm it. actually hungry, man. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Thus they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same. A land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, 
our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest well, fishmonger discreet, to the richest <laughs> merchants, from wealthy Thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. <sighs> That's oh, has man. given you one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients of England in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. Ooh. Also, oh, that's the same with Odyssey. Okay. I like that. Unveil and eliminate. Order hierarchy. So we got Wigman. Uh, we already know him. Scarab. Don't tell me that it's two. Oh no, that's the other way. This we can recruit. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jumsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Ooh. How about a female? Oh, yeah. Same as mine, isn't it? Giant. Huh. 
ready to put? Oh yeah, we we'll need this. There we are. Nice to have a more permanent spot. I've got some new pieces with your name on them. I would like to see what you have in stock. I'm practically giving it away. <laughs> I think that would be a very good choice. Shopping for the I'm off. Be well, friend. I hope to see you soon. Uh, let's do some quests. Go lads, girls. <laughs> well, we might as well raid. moment.
Hey, can't do this alone. Longer the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I say, Eivor, my muscle banded friend. There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. If you rely in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's <sighs> how I see it. How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa. Smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... Everything about her. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leaf? Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this... Self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Okay then.
Justice awaits, coward! My thanks! That's enough! Fear got your belly, Fear, dog! <laughs> Don't fall for any traps! That's all of them. Laughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting themselves. You fought very well, Vienna. Is that how I you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drenger. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. as much air as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sell... Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. 
How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Cranbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows straight. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's wealth awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. a more straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. I'll keep your voice down. Look at this structure. The trees they must have hewn. The devices they must have used to lift stone. Solid work. Are you in the midst of a conversion, Leaf? Shall I steal a small cross for you as well? No. Never. Can't a craftsman drool over other crafts? in the Shire anymore. We should leave.
Well struck. We made short work of Whitman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wakeman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter and faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. My body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, pummeled as I was. I owe her my life. Missions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled, and Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know it can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? Leif and Birna. Leif. He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living with lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her. Irreverent as she is, but she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze everywhere. Red enemy of the dragon will make quick work of this place. <laughs> Best race my hood here. We are a curse visited upon them all. Leave no house unburned. This is what we get for helping Rand Grand Prince from Soma. For licking Elderman Whitman's boots. Burning roof thatch and a heady touch.
That was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Who will share a tale? You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old. I designed an improvement to our dragon boats, one that gave them extra strength. It is so common now that none remember no my genius design, but at the time, I was praised from the top to the bottom of Norway. I had been out sailing with my father when we hit a rough patch of ocean. Our boat trembled like a frozen skeleton. We nearly broke to pieces. What's wrong with you? You'll get nothing out of me. No- Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is a province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm. Thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> ah! <clears throat> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Join your blade to mine, that ring the sword song this day. 
think you can swill with the best? Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. You... You told me you found yellow paint on Galen's longboat, didn't you? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? <laughs> Maybe it's wrong. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. I thought it was Leaf. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader sure. must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <sighs> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. Oh shit. Imagine if I was wrong. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. Yes, ma'am. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. That's not Odin, bro. It will take years That's to, try to well. rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I have an iron stomach and a powerful thirst! Ah! A thirsty foe! Down it faster than me, and you are the victor! 
Is it the silver or the courage you're lacking? Come on, I need to challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> 